Carolina, where are traders shifting money to? So as we see investors really pull that cash from those passive indexed funds that you mentioned, we see them reemerge in a few different places. One is a ticker EMXC, which you highlighted. It's, a, it's been a very popular fund this year. It's basically going to look at broad-based emerging markets exposure, but it's totally going to pull out China. What that means is it's going to naturally boost exposure to other countries or regions that just have more bullish growth stories, things like India. Um, EMXC is going to have a 22% exposure to India, whereas EEM, that passive fund that you mentioned, is going to have have close to a 17% exposure. So a bit more India. It's also going to boost exposure to some Latin America stories that have been more popular this year, like Brazil and Mexico. Mexico has one of the best performing uh, stock indexes this year. Um, part of that thanks to the near-shoring trend. We also have Brazil equities doing very well. Part of that thanks to the country just embarking on its monetary easing cycle. And India, I cannot speak to, to enough investors that have <laughs> bullish things to say about India. One of them telling me that not holding India today is like not holding China 20 years ago. Very bullish story there, massive middle class, fastest growing economy in the world. Uh, so these funds are giving EM exposure in different ways and that's really luring in investors into those funds. Uh, what about the types of investors that are shifting money in these funds? So Are we talking about sort of retail investors, you know, kind of fast money, more speculative trading action? So that's an interesting question, right? Because traditionally when we look at ETFs and what they were made for and the sort of investors that they attract, they're really in a way meant for some retail investors because they traditionally give access to these hard to access corners of the market. Uh, e EM being a good, a good example of that, of course, within financial markets. But what we're seeing is that these funds are not only attracting those retail investors, but they're also attracting these pro investors or sophisticated fast money investors because they're being lured in by those same attributes that make ETFs so attractive to retail investors, the liquidity, the ability to get in and out of these funds quickly, which is the liquidity, of course, their fees, their, there's just so many things that attract the retail side that are also attracting those sophisticated traders, which is it's, it's interesting to see the mix of both of them. So we've talked about EM funds that avoid China, but have you seen anything interesting around perhaps those vehicles that actually are focused on China? So there are, there are a couple of tickers that are sort of interesting. One is YIN, Y-I-N-N, -I -N -N, and one is YANG. That's going to be a three times leveraged bull play on Chinese equities and a three times leveraged bear play on Chinese equities. And leveraged funds traditionally have had a poor re reputation in the market because they are leveraged and often they can be a little tricky in terms of how to play that for returns but we're seeing an interesting retail audience want to play those in a sort of fun way for short-term trading on a day-to-day -day basis they've ticked up in liquidity which is an interesting sort of turn for some of these leveraged products